Hey guys, the Wood Craftsman here. So I finally have the Larson Electronics uh, two bulb, four foot explosion proof light fixture. I'm on it above the exhaust wall here. It's fully functional, it's been wired. Had my electrician come over and do the wiring. Um, as far as investment wise, as far as how much I have invested into the light fixture and the electrical, it's probably around $400. The light fixture I actually got very cheap. It was brand new in the box. I spent $255 delivered to my door. And then an explosion proof light switch, a conduit box, some union fittings, a piece of flexible conduit, and another explosion proof elbow, um, the LED tubes. Um, I probably have about $450 in this, not including my electrician's time yet, which I'm not sure what he's gonna charge me for that. But um, this is something I really wish they would have done. Now, before this video that you'll get to see in this video, I actually end up spraying up um, a couple of doors and the first time I actually got to use this light and I was really impressed. I also have a video out that talks about um, color temperature and color rendering index or CRI. You'll notice that this light or the, the light output is not the same in my previous video I put out regarding the um, LED conversion to LED ballast bypass. Originally the bulbs I had in there were a uh, 5000K with rotatable ends and I just really wasn't comfortable with them. I actually had installed a fixture with those lamps in it and I started looking at it and I didn't really like it. So I actually have a video talking about the lux difference between the two color temperatures, but also talking a little bit about as far as the CRI number as well. Here I'm actually using the Sylvania LED Lessons, which I originally wanted to use and figured out I couldn't use because they're not rotatable. And the reason that rotatable um, LED tubes are kind of essential, especially in an application like this here, right now the diodes, I don't know how well the camera's gonna see it, but you can actually see the little dots where the diodes are. The diodes are actually pointing up a little bit. They're actually pointing down. And the reason being it's how the sockets hold the pins of the tubes. So um, unfortunately the diodes aren't actually pointing in the, in the correct direction. The beam angle though on these bulbs is about 220 degrees. So that definitely helps, but still not the full benefit. But what I found out with the testing in that video was is that even though the daylight tubes from Sittler, from Larson Lighting, had a little bit higher lux figure, it just seemed to have a different color temperature in this area. Um, the rest of the light in the shop here is around that 4000 to 4500K. It's, it's a white with just a little hint of warmness to it. Um, this is kind of the same thing. This is actually rated as a 4100K and the color rendering index is actually 82. It's actually the highest one I found in a decent quality LED tube that was a class B double-ended. So it was really good. So anyways, light fixtures up running. I love it. I have it anchored to the top of the exhaust well with a couple of uh, angle iron brackets, a local welding shop made for me. Um, this fixture itself is about 57 pounds, I think. And I did put it up myself and I wished I wouldn't have because I'm feeling a little bit, but luckily I was actually able to hook this in here, hang it horizontal, uh, hang it vertically, and then lift it up on the other end and push the other bolt in for the horizontal movement and then just, just adjust it accordingly. So this, like I said, this light was, it was huge. I wasn't gonna spend the thousand dollars on one. Um, I just happened to come across this one on eBay for uh, it was $250 or $250 and 75 cents with a with basically I did a, 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 um, a Make an offer and I think they shipped it for five dollars So it came very well packaged as uh, you saw in the um, preview video for the conversion. So Yeah, so this lighting was really good, especially um, for spraying doors You basically have the spray table here the turntable and just come back here and spray away um, definitely seems to light it up better. Shows defects a bit more, but really, ultimately, what it's going to do is, when it comes to spraying primers and colored lacquers, especially getting into the corners of some of these door styles, it'll basically give more shed. It'll basically shed more light on the area, if you will. So, um, so in this video, I'll actually show you some doors I sprayed up using this light. Um, 
you know, like I said, I'm glad I did this. I just wish I would have done this entire system 10 plus years ago. So, um, yeah. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, here I'm going to show you how we sprayed the doors. Thanks for watching.